Hello, today we'll go over several bathroom ceramic tile refinishing projects from start to finish. We'll cover the key steps that many tile refinishing contractors skip. The following bathtub and ceramic tile refinishing projects will demonstrate why an in-home estimate is often required. All too often, a homeowner is lured in by cheap discount price. When a quote is given without seeing a project or asking any questions, you're probably about to be ripped off. Before a quote can be given, a legitimate contractor would need to know the square footage of the tile being refinished, has a project been done before and require chemical stripping, any damage that needs to be addressed, go over in detail how the refinishing project will be performed. The project we've picked for you today to start is well over 100 square feet and we have all sorts of damage. Let's take a look. We have cracked tile, missing towel bar. We have an old worn out tub that's uh, eroded, hard to clean, and the bathroom is just basically showing its age. It's got chips, cracks, damage, and uh, we're going to go over each of these for you. First let's talk about ventilation. The 12 inch 3000 Vortex cubic foot per minute uh, system makes the uh, odor problem almost a non-issue except for the most sensitive. And here you can see the difference between uh, a 12 inch and an 8 inch system and the polyvinyl hose doesn't tear or rip and pollute your home like the foil hose does. It's just a much nicer unit. And here's the old drain. You can imagine what this will look like in the finished product and we're going to be putting a new drain in and overflow in this job. And the technician is now removing a caulk. Uh, some of the tricks that discount refinishers uh, do is to spray over your old caulking. Uh, we believe it's important to remove it all and give you a fresh caulk job, especially if there's only silicone involved as that's a contaminant and causes a defect known as fisheye. And wherever the uh, tub and tile meet at the edges around the wall and uh, together it needs to be cleaned up. And here's another uh, step that's uh, often skipped is a thorough deep cleaning. Uh, we need to make the surfaces hospital clean and using a heavy duty degreaser we get in there with a scrub pad and make sure it's all thoroughly scrubbed out and cleaned from years of buildup, especially in the grout lines. We use a wire brush to get in there and systematically make sure that we get every single line very thoroughly. The tub and tile are etched. And then uh, after that we do a regrouting job. This is very important as it fills in pinholes, voids, and missing grout areas. And it just provides a much fuller look to the finished product. Highly recommended this to be done on every job. Now chips and cracked tile will be addressed. Here we're going over uh, damaged areas with marine grade fillers. Pardon the poor lighting. And then once that's filled up and hard, we're going to uh, remove the drain. This was actually seized and we had to cut the drain out. And once the hardener, the fillers are hardened, we sand them down, contour them smooth for a seamless look. And should the uh, crack in a tile go between two tiles, the grout line needs to be restored, which we often see not being done. Some refinishers will actually spray over your overflow and drain. And once uh, everything prepped and ready, we mask up the room with paper or plastic to protect the room from overspray as required. And you can see we've done some erosion damage repair in the front of the tub and chips uh, repaired in the back. Technicians applying a non-skid texture to the bottom as ordered with this job. And now that all the tile repairs and preparations are completed, the tech suits up and with the ventilator running, blows out the dust to clear the room from prepping. Then gives the surfaces a solvent wipe down using a tack cloth to make the surfaces hospital clean. Applies tub potion number eight, silane adhesion promoter. Once that's completed, he loads up the spray gun with a polyester bonding primer and starts the project by cutting in the little small fixtures. The gun needs to be tuned down so we don't over apply. As you can see there's a lot of little angles here that need to be gotten. And once he's got uh, all these little fixtures cut in, he'll cut in the uh, tile around the perimeter of the room. And especially when you have dark trim, this puts an extra coating of color on these so there's no bleed through. And once that's completed, he applies the polyester bonding primer to the tile surfaces. And then he'll load up his gun with the aliphatic polyester polyurethane hybrid coating and apply multiple coats to the entire bathroom. Mm -hmm. 
And once that's completed, he'll use an inspection lamp to check the quality of the job and the reflection. And from what I can tell, it looks like he did a pretty good job. And here we are the next day after the paper's been removed. Looks great. Now's the time to take care of any little issues that we might have found in the finished product. All we have left to do is caulk and install the hardware. And we're getting the drain and overflow back in. Getting rid of the plumber's putty. And now he's putting in the drain pop-up. And once that's completed, we'll turn the water on and we'll check for leaks. This is why we require access to the tub's plumbing, installing a new drain so if there's any leaks or issues with the plumbing, they can be easily addressed. Here we are with our finished ceramic tile refinishing project. Beautiful. This client should get another 12 to 18 years out of a properly done job. It's been caulked in. Gorgeous. The tile floor could be reglazed or retiled for a completely brand new look for one tenth the cost of replacement. Our next project is a typical 50 square foot tile surround and during our estimate we discovered the previous refinisher shorted the job badly ripping the client off. Let's take a look at what happened. Right there along that arrow line, the entire grout line was never filled and it caused the wall behind the tile to become saturated and destroying it. They sprayed over their hardware, as you can see there, the overflow, and the job was poorly prepped causing the job to start peeling. This is an extremely poor job and we had to strip it all down and start fresh, adding time and expense to the job. And then here's the damaged wall from the water damage that had to be removed. And we put new wall board in, retiled, and got that area repaired. And once that's done, we regrouted like it should have been done in the first place. That would have prevented the wall from becoming damaged. Once that's completed, he's applying the coatings. And here we are, a brand new look. And you can see where the arrow how we pulled the excussions away from the shower handle so we could spray behind them. And our finished job. This client should get another 12 to 18 years as well. Beautiful. And there's a few other issues I want to go over that uh, you may find in some older homes. Here we have a mud wall with a foundation shifted causing it to crack. This needs to be V'd out filled in and then the grout lines restored as well as the cabinet is too close to the tub as you can see with the next arrow the cabinet will need to be removed before this job is done and here we have loose broken tile that needs to be moved and replaced and here's the effect of a, just a really bad job this is not a refinisher this is somebody who just came in and painted their bathroom and ripped them off poor prep uh, no, uh, no bonding primers no etching no cleaning they just basically came in and, and ripped them off. Uh, this failed within months of having the job done and it needed to be completely removed. This uh, adds a lot of time and expense to the job and we have to come in and chemically strip the stuff off and start fresh. All right, well that's about it. This is Paul Burns with Porcelain Tub Restorations at Bathroom Innovation HQ. Thank you for watching.